Have you heard about Anchor? Well, it's one of the easiest ways to create a podcast. Not only is it 100% free, but it has a variety of creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or a computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast to other sites such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many others for you. And Anchor even allows you to make money from your podcast without a required minimum listenership. So whether you've been in the podcasting game for a long time or you're completely new to it, Anchor is so user-friendly that it's basically your one-stop shop for making a podcast. So what are you waiting for? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. You're listening to First Fossil. Because sometimes you simply need someone to help you take that first fossil. Hello and welcome to First Fossil. Fossil, a show where we learn together how to take that first fossil toward becoming the best versions of ourselves. My name is Candice Olushala, and happy Thanksgiving Eve to those of you in the U.S. I am with my family in sunny California, and I'm just so thankful to be here. It's fantastic getting to spend time with my parents, my brother, my sister in law, my little niece Kaya. She's so cute and just soaking it all in before I have to go home in the next couple of weeks. So I have been sharing all month things that I've been thankful for in 2021. And so today I'm actually very thankful for what I'm calling my wilderness season. It's this time where I left my career as a pharmacist, as a practicing pharmacist. I'm still licensed and I plan to stay active in the profession, but it became very tumultuous and overwhelming. And I was already doing podcasting on the side when I felt like I was really stepping into my purpose. The further into podcasting, the more that I was doing public speaking, which I've been doing for years, but I was getting more opportunities to do so. And so I was feeling as though I was thriving and leaning even more so in my purpose, doing the more public speaking, doing coaching, doing podcasting, doing mentoring, and utilizing my clinical knowledge as well as my public health knowledge in a different way. So while things in pharmacy were getting very tumultuous, I felt like I broke free and stepped out of the pharmacy practice and started this venture full time. So why I call it my wilderness season is because it's the first time that I am stepping into a venture that doesn't have a blueprint for me, like pharmacy did or like public health did or just academics and the trajectory of following a healthcare slash public health career. So now I feel free to create. I feel like I'm in this wide open space. It's quiet. It's peaceful. I'm waking up smiling every day versus weeping to have to go into work every day. I'm by myself, but I'm not lonely. And I am discovering more about myself And so I'm actually appreciating this time to lean more into who I am, lean more into my purpose and having the freedom to, to be me. (laughs) So I am grateful for this. Not everyone gets to do this. Not everyone has the opportunity to make a life change like this and still be able to survive financially and emotionally, spiritually, all around thriving right now. So I'm thankful for this season and I'm looking forward to see where where this all takes me. So today's episode is on the topic about stifled growth. Those that know me really well know that I'm a huge Steve Harvey fan and he talks about grasshoppers in a jar. And 
when you put the grasshopper in a jar with a lid on it and it's trying to jump, it's going to learn to jump as high as that lid is. And if you keep it on long enough, it's going to think that that's as high as it knows it can jump. So if you remove the lid, it won't know that it can actually jump way higher because it's been practicing and believing that it can only go so high. A couple of weeks ago, I was in a group coaching session. I was leading one out and one of my coaching clients brought up this concept of how a creature in a shell, say like a crab, it can only grow as big as the shell it's in. And so it has to leave its shell to grow bigger if it wants to thrive more. But if it stays in the shell that's small and cramped, it's going to think that that's as big as it can get. But if it leaves and it realizes it can find another shell that's bigger, it could potentially grow bigger. And so I found these concepts to be very crucial in life. We oftentimes think that we can only go so far, that these are our circumstances, we're stuck here forever, or this is what's happened to me, this is bound to happen to me for the rest of my life. We convince ourselves that this is as far as we can go, this is as great as we can grow, and this is as good as it can get. So life causes us to think that life is choosing the size of the jar, where the lid is, and to stay in our shells. We are convinced that because of hurt, because of pain, because of suffering, because of hardships. But did you know we all have the power to, to say no in the face of all of those lies? Those are lies. We can actually say no. I can and I will figure out. I'm determined to not have this jar stay small. I am determined to take the lid off of this jar. I am determined to step out of this shell and find a better one, a bigger one, a greater one with more purpose and freedom to grow and move and be holy me. But that takes courage. And that takes believing that that's true. You might not believe me right now. And that's okay. I didn't believe this for a really long time. And yet something in me fought for the hope that something was better, that I had the opportunity for greater. One of my other coaching clients that was in the group coaching session recently was talking about how they had these full price tags and they wanted to, when I say full price tags, I mean the, the things that are most important to them in life that they want to step into, things that they want to describe as being themselves, but they don't currently see themselves as that right now, but they want to picture themselves being this. So whether it's like courageous or disciplined or thriving or confident, whatever those descriptor words are, we call them our full price tags. And she made a comment and said, man, could I just have like one of them or even like three of them? I don't think I'll ever be able to have five of them. And I said, whoa, you put that lid on your own jar. That's your own lid. Don't let your circumstances convince you that this is it. Are you kidding me? You telling yourself that, that's exactly what you'll get. You'll get exactly the lid that you put on your own jar. Why would you do that to yourself? Tell yourself, no, this may be where I am now, but this is not where I'm choosing to stay. I'm going to choose to step into my full price tags. I will be able to jump so high out of this jar that I won't be able to be contained. I will be great. I will be loved. I will be cherished. I will be joyful. I will have peace. I will be completely free being me. We have that power. And I, I want to share with you guys five ways to unlock growth potential. These are things that I had to work on and that I still work on when I forget in those moments where my fears and my feelings, my thoughts, my emotions, they take over sometimes. I'm human. You're human. This can happen. 
even when we stepped into freedom. But when we're in freedom, we can remind ourselves that we don't have to go back to the shackled thinking. So these are five ways to unlock your growth potential. Number one, address the hindered thinking. See what it is. Tell yourself the truth. What have I been saying that does not sound like anything great? (laughs) What am I telling myself that makes me think of myself as small, make myself as unworthy, make myself to be unloved? What am I saying that is hindering me from thinking great thoughts about myself despite what I'm seeing or what I'm feeling? Because if you remember back a few episodes ago, we talked about our feelings and our thoughts don't always have to be the truth. So address your hindered thinking. And then number two, stop telling yourself limited ideas or beliefs. Don't do that. That Your tongue is powerful. Your tongue is powerful. The things that you say can make or break how you even wake up in the morning. So start yourself off great. And if you catch yourself being negative, stop yourself in the middle of the day and say, hey, 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 we don't do all that over here, okay? We don't do all of that. Don't do that to yourself. Stop telling yourself limited ideas or beliefs. Whether you believe good things can come to you or not, speak good things over your life. Number three, take it one desire or calling at a time. You don't have to run after all the things that you want in life all at the same time. That can be overwhelming and you might not do it very well. (laughs) Take one thing you want to lean into, whether that's discipline, take something pertaining to discipline and lean into it. One of my coaches, my transformation coach, he talked to me about goal stacking and it was, you take one goal and you Actually, you list off all the goals that you want, and then you just look at one and you lean into one. You focus on one. You try to do that one well. You do it well for a while. You get into a habit, you get into a groove. And then when you're feeling like, okay, I feel like I've created new patterns, new thought patterns, new emotional patterns, let me add another goal to that. And it's like habit stacking or goal stacking. So do that for yourself. If you have a desire, if you have a calling in life, if there's something that you're walking towards or you desire to walk towards or become or step into to become your best self and be unlocked and released to be freely you, take one piece of that and step towards it today. Number four, Speak in contrast to what you feel or believe about your ability or circumstances. Don't just tell yourself limiting beliefs. Stop those limiting beliefs and then say the opposite of that. You don't feel loved. I am loved. I love myself. I don't really think I'm worthy. I am worthy. You're not great at this. You are great. You are great at at not If it's not this, I do have greatness in me and I am on the journey to find out what I'm great at. Spin it to where it's positive. Spin it to where it's encouraging. Encourage yourself. How would you encourage your friends and family? You're with yourself way more than you are with anyone else. So take the time to encourage you. And number five, find people who've gone before you that can help guide you and can hold you accountable. People who have been in the spaces that you desire to be People who you see as being joyful and you know they're joyful and they can tell you why they're joyful, ask them, can you mentor me? Ask them, can you please be my coach? Ask them, can you please help keep me accountable to speaking positivity over myself? I've had people come and ask me and a lot of those people turned into my mentees. They turned into my coaching clients. They have been people that were just honest and said, hey, I see that you've broken free and I want to do that too. Can you help me? Heck, I've done that. I've reached out to people and said, you're living in a space that I desire to live in and I just need accountability. I need guidance. I need help. I want to learn from you. Can I ask you questions? Can we sit down? Can we get a cup of coffee? Can I hear your story? And can we be vulnerable in these moments so I can learn and grow and become a better version of myself? It's okay to ask for help, especially if you want help being a better version of you. 
We need a better version of you in this world because the best you allows for the world to be its best self too. So this episode was really short, but I want to go be with my family guys. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today's episode. And if you liked what you heard, if you have more topics, if you are thinking of things and you have questions and you want me to answer them on my show, please send those to me. Go on www.firstbosso.com. You can also hit me up on social media all over the place. I'm on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the things. So please send me your messages. And if you want to support in any way, like, subscribe, share, and you can also become one of my first pasitos on Patreon. And I would just love to connect with you guys. I always love connecting with you guys. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Enjoy whatever meal that you have right now, whether it's turkey, tofurkey, whatever you guys eat, vegan, you've got smoothies. If you're watching the game, whatever you do on Thanksgiving, please be safe. Enjoy your loved ones. And we will talk soon. Take care. Ciao. Bye.